Welcome back. Please watch the introduction to Inotrop's video before you get to here. But dopamine, as most of all you know, works right here mainly on the pump. I'm gonna put four arrows by increasing the contractility and increasing the heart rate, the inotropic and chronotropic effect. Also has some effect here on the hoses or the vessels here causing some vasodilatory effect. But this is a weak one. We'll put one arrow only. This will lead to decrease some decrease in systemic vascular resistance and this will lead to decrease in afterload. By increasing contractility and, and heart rate, you increase stroke volume and increase cardiac output. So we have increase in cardiac output, plus we have decrease in systemic vascular resistance. That may lead to slight decrease, uh, or actually decrease in systemic vascular resistance and decrease in afterload. The effect of this, of course, will lead to decrease on the heart workload. And that's the whole idea. Also, the effect on the blood pressure will be kind of either increase it a little bit or stay the same or slight decrease in blood pressure. And because of this effect, you or we should avoid using dobutamine in cases of severe hypotension. But again, the effect on blood pressure is not that significant and if any drop on the blood pressure should be mild. Now, dobutamine should be given through a central line. The dose usually start 2.5 mcg per kg per minute. Avoid using when there is outflow obstruction like severe AS and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, avoid using in severe hypotension for the reason we mentioned. So in cardiogenic shock, don't use unless you stabilize the blood pressure, maybe with levofed or epinephrine, whatever. And as we said, you use it when there is decompensated heart failure, signs of poor perfusion, low output syndrome. And please consult cardiology when you get to this point, whenever you start thinking about using dobutamine, because they have far more experience better than us as internists, hospitalists, or residents in managing these things and titrating them up and down. Watch for tachyarrhythmias, AFib, ventricular tachycardia, VFib, also look for anybody on mono amino oxidase inhibitors because the combination can lead to prolonged hypotension and mainly these are antidepressants and ninozolid have some of that so you need to pay attention to that as well and be careful while using both and very important to remember last thing this is only dobutamine use or inotropes with low ef so if you have somebody with heart failure, but preserve ejection fraction, this medication should not be used. And remember the source of water. Never forget, the patient can be dry, especially if you give too much diuretics, this and that. So you need to pay attention to the volume status of that patient. Titrating or weaning of endotropes, we'll uh, talk about it in a separate video. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.